Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Assyria. We are playing Humankind and we are selecting pretty much all of the raiding empires. At least that is the plan. So far, things are going a little bit okay as we found another player here who has not yet advanced from the Neolithic Age. So we're going to try to prey on him with our specifically trained uh, early units. Now, Assyrian raiders, as they are called, have the beauty of being uh, one of the earliest units that you can build. You don't really need a lot of technology for them, and they're pretty cheap to build, so I think that is going to be fantastic. We do already have two of them. Uh, two of our scouts have just been uh, pretty much receiving a beating here, uh, but pretty much dishing out a lot of damage in return, so um, so far that is pretty good. City defense research. Ooh! Get ready to hear the sound of chariots. And now we know who they are. Uh, in fact, they have just selected uh, their first people here. Um, but I do think that we can go ahead and uh, try to kill some of their units here. Because it would be really fantastic if we could do that. Are they going to go for battle? I would hope that they do. Yes, indeed, they seem to be doing right that. That is nice. Uh, let's send the deployment right here. I think that's pretty good. Now, we have... These guys are cavalry, so they can ignore zone of control, which is pretty lovely because we can just get over here, get a height advantage, and attack these guys. Hopefully dealing a lot of damage here. 37, that is nice to see. Um, they are not actually even going to attack in return, so hopefully we can just overwhelm them in due time. There we go. Kills a unit here. That is nice. Now, notice that we're not going to get a lot of uh, things here. Oh, uh, we actually should have declared a war here, shouldn't we? Okay, let's see about that in a moment. Um, who are you, by the way? You're a militarist. You're cool-headed. Okay. You do have more combat strength on your emblemic unit. That is a problem. And you're generally not a great guy. Fine, I suppose. Now, the next thing that we probably want is develop this area up here because there is some good stuff there, specifically the ebony. Now, the big question is where should we try to build our district? I would love to be able to build out some of our industrial capacity. We really don't have that. We've placed our things in a way that is okay in this short term. But as you can see, there's no really great location here for districts or anything like that. So let's try to place something over here. Well, first off, maybe split you guys off. And then let's see where we can build stuff. None of these areas is really fantastic. Probably that's, that plateau up here has the best, offers the best chance of building up a little bit in terms of industry. There's also this mountain range down here. Yeah, I think probably this location here might be one of the best. Yeah. There's also a little bit up here, but... That's a plus 11, that's a plus 15. And we can build a little bit to the left or to the right here. Which I think is going to be the best choice. Ultimately, we could, of course, try to claim some other area down here first. Why does it show us over here, but it doesn't show us here? Weird. Okay, now it does. Well, sometimes the game is a little bit weird like that. Well, there's an industrial plateau up here. This is mostly a food terrain area. Yeah, I think we should build it up here. Let's let's do try to build it there. Right over there. You guys could even start building that this turn. And honestly, that might actually be the best choice because... Yeah, let's uh, do move up here. And then it should give us the ability to build right over here. That is going to shave a turn off there. That's nice. Ooh, and there's also some, some hopefully some, uh, some stuff to be gotten there. Right. Okay. You guys, should you be waiting over here? I think you can actually. So, alternative is to bring someone down into Ashur. 
to be able to build that up over time. It's going to take two turns. You're going to take a long time to get down there anyway. So, yeah, let's, let's wait for now with you. And that's going to be all right. Okay, let's take a look at these guys down here. Yeah, I suppose you can walk this ledge, and you're actually going to walk into some Greetings. some influence here. Nice. Now Ooh, and another who may be group. Interested in commerce. This is where you I are the Numidians. You let's introduce ourselves. You are risk-taking. Interesting and adaptive. Your strength are scouting and colonialism. Hmm. You might be expanding pretty early on, but I do think we have our hands full anyway. When it is nice to see that you're going to be in some conflict there anyway. How about you guys? Yeah, well, let's let's burn down that sanctuary for some good money. You guys can't engage us anyway because we are on this tile up here and they're down there. Don't think we can jump in there and uh, disrupt their plans, unfortunately. Uh, what are we going to do next? I think bronze working is going to be alright. Hmm. And you guys, I guess you should be burning that sanctuary anyway. More money is generally, of course, always useful. Right, and then we've got this victory down here. Can we start besieging Hattusha? Or at least disrupting their build-up in, in these locations up here. They are not the best ransackers. The best ransackers are actually, of course, our, our specific cavalry units. But we might at least disrupt them somewhat. The AI does get crazy bonuses, so we need to be a little bit careful here. But I think it is a good thing to go ahead and uh, we are gonna go for polytheism because faith on the main plaza is generally a very good thing so yeah let's do that okay you guys could actually advance pretty, pretty far up here that is cool you can't quite start burning it down but we're gonna advance you even though you've taken a lot of damage here if we send you up there you're gonna pretty much pass through this anyway so let's do it Curiosity collected. That is nice. Yeah, we're going to continue to advance along this line here. Okay, that's fairly good. Next time around, we will be having that. That's okay. And then you guys... I would love to start a burner down. Let's get over here, because I want to be a little bit on the high ground. I want to get some vision of, of what's going on here. I can't see any enemy, so let's start the process of burning it down, and we're going to merge up these units in a moment, hoping that that is going to be strong enough to actually do a lot of damage there. Right, fantastic. You're going to attach that next time around. We should be thinking about the placement of our second city now. I tend to think that it might be a good idea to build it up somewhere over here to get access to all of that saffron and then have some very, very strong tiles. And I think down there might be a good location. Uh, well, very little industry. Lots of rivers, and that's nice, but... You could also build a commercial capital over here, basically. All of these things do give you money, so... That is useful. Okay, so that's Saffron and that is Papyrus. Very strong, very strong mid-game type of things. We could get over here, build an outpost here. It does give you a little bit of industry, but not a lot of other things. It also has a nice blocking function because pretty much everyone needs to pass through here. And if we're building up some fortifications, that would be a good thing for us, I believe. So they could be placed down here along the Quinn Mountains too. They do give you a lot of industry. 
Now, river tiles are typically so strong, but I don't really see it as being that strong here. We could also just try to conquer Tusha. That wouldn't be the worst idea. Try to go for an early land grab there. Okay, let's do merge up our guys, because these are the only guys who can actually attack a city. So, I think that is a good idea. Right, you guys are sending us a proposal to trade luxury resources. Let's say okay to that for now. Um, no, no, no. We are not gonna. We are not gonna sign a non-aggression pact with you. I'm very sorry about that, but we are currently pillaging your lands, and we want to continue doing that. So that's gonna be all right. Okay, you guys really can't interfere there, so let's not even bother to try. Let's instead try to find out what's going on down here, just so that we've got a better understanding of what's going on. Right. Hmm. Likewise with these scouts, what are we going to do? I think we're going to loop back and we're going to try to merge them up. I think that is a good idea. Right, what else? Um, you guys down here. Well, you're very far away from anything. Right, let's send you over there. That's fine. And the turn here. You guys need to merge up. You're going to continue your pillaging. Only three turns now. That looks nice. Going to send up these pillagers further. What's that dot, by the way? Just nothing. Okay, fine. Yeah, you're going to try to merge up there too, but you will take some time to get there. Right, we have established this up here, and I do think we want to attach it. That does give some problems here, or it's starting to yield some problems with stability. But this is now a three section tile, so let's start by producing this. And that would give us nine production in two turns. Whereas this does give us how much? Probably a little bit more. So let's continue with the lumber yard for now and then start producing the artisan quarter right after that. I think that's a good idea. We will need to keep an eye on the stability. So maybe we should actually go for irrigation first. Let's do it. Right. Not the best tiles that we have, have um, that we're working on over there, but yeah. There's only so much we can do about that. Right. Let's. You can't go over here. Oh, no, you can. Right then. Let's uh, go there. Hopefully, you're going to grab a little bit more influence so we can expand fast. Eighty-nine. It's going to take a while for for this area here to come under our influence. It would be lovely because that would allow us to basically get some. Some healing on the front lines. But at least we are raiding, so that's lovely. It's not going to give us an enormous amount of money, 47. But I still think that is a good good start to what we want to achieve with this run here. Two more turns. And I think once this guy does join up, we will have some some bonuses there too. Ooh. More influence there. Potential influence at least. You know what? You do have gold. I'm listening. We could go for non-aggression pack there. You are risk-taking adaptive. Yeah, and colonialist. Hmm. Right. Let's see, let's see. I would love to you I would love for you to explore this area here and fight more mysteries. How are you guys doing? Yeah, you're still healing up. That's fine. Are sure we cannot buy this lumber yard, unfortunately? But you are producing stuff. Okay, that's end turn. Let's have you guys come over here. Does that number now change? 51. Yeah, a little bit. Not too much, actually. Okay, some scouts down there. Not the worst. We're taking a bit of funny route here, but I think it's okay. Right, let's continue to develop you there. 
Curiosity collected. Nice. Some science is always pretty lovely. Yeah, the artisan quarter. Let's continue building the artisan quarter until we get that. And then we're going to switch some of these industry guys. You know, we're going to switch one over to science already. Uh, because that speed there is, is really too slow. Right. And then we can also start thinking about the industry here. Yeah, I think this is... Can I give us... It's not that good. I would have loved for some matter city options here. The expansion options are really not great. Oh, we do need to be careful about the stability, though. Yeah, let's continue with the artisan quarter here for the moment. I think that is also going to give us some stability, so all in all, pretty good. Oh, more stuff there. Let's try to grab it. Don't, don't attack me, please. Yeah, it's, I'm really not used to playing this 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 warmongering. But uh, it's it's kind of a fun change, I have to say. Right, you guys, hmm. You're almost okay. 96. 87. Is that going to be that decisive? Also, why are you not... Um, we could actually heal you for money. Let's end the turn first. Okay, so we have pillaged this area up here. Lovely. That is pretty much all of their area. Ooh, unfortunately they are attacking us over here. Now, we've got 13. They've got probably a little bit more. Yeah, 15. We're going to retreat. There's no need for us to, to battle them over here. Can we, in fact, um, make a treaty to not attack ourselves? We would all benefit from I could raid you down there, or attack you at least. Right, okay, everyone over here. Yeah, let's spend the money. And then we are going to send all of you out. Start advancing on Hartusha. The trouble with our cavalry is they can't scale walls. So they're pretty much useless in a siege. Slightly worried that I'm mostly clearing the space for these guys, but... This is what it is. Oh, this is the San River. Interesting. Where would be we be founding something down here? Now, Hatusha is actually a fairly good industrial city, I feel. Down here, we would have some expansion options for industry. Would also be interesting to be able, at least, to get access to this stuff. Again, down here would be interesting for commerce. But these are not good locations. I mean, 19, 19 exploitation is pretty... is bordering it, pretty much. If we were to build over here, we would not be... Well, we would be expanding a little bit over there, I guess. These are very bad locations. Hmm. Right, let's focus on Hatusha first, I guess. I'm sorry. We're not going to spend that amount of money. Just to get a non-aggression pact with you. Because, in fact, we should be able to attack you. Well, first, let's... Oh, there's another guy down there. I guess we should try to attack him, right? We are attacking uphill here, but still. Okay, nice. We did get him to withdraw. How do you do? Um, we should actually de declare a war here. Quickly, you understand? Our war support is going to drop. I shouldn't be but we should be getting bonuses over time. Okay, let's end the turn. Let's have you guys attack. You're three, and um, that deployment is fine since we are the attacker. Right, let's come around here. Right, we're going to start with you. You should have the highest attack. 
because this guy is basically in your rear. There we go, he's gone, our war support increases. We should be getting a lot of points too, so that is nice. Um, and we should be trying to look at some options here. Right, let's go down here. Okay, the cavalry can move a little bit faster. I would love to grab some territory. I don't think we can grab territory from these guys. Can you withdraw actually? No, okay. So that's a little bit annoying. And it's a bit annoying that we're standing on this river tile. Because now you guys can pretty much wreck us. Let's get over here. They're actually going to be able to, to really take us out nicely. Yeah, that's that's a defeat. Ooh, but maybe we can grab at least this, this stuff there over, uh, next time. Good, okay, so... Right, can we do this? I don't think we can. Well, what we can certainly do, though, is move you guys on this river. Cannot be done as the tile is, is obstructed. We could start a siege. Let's do it. Oh, they are they are attacking us. Interesting. Right, we do have a nice location there up the hill. Probably means the other guy is going to be attacked, or they're going to move over there. Yeah, let's switch these guys around like such. We're going to end the deployment here. They're going to have this start because they are selling forwards. They're taking our base here. But that's fine because we can do the same as we did last time around and make sure that we're going to get a nice rear attack bonus here with our superior cavalry. Nice. Is he going to attack us? No, he is not. So that does mean we can overwhelm him. He is going to be gone. He's gone. Um, I, I think he's gone. But does he have another person? Oh, he does. There's another warrior there. I did not expect that. Well, that's unfortunate. Mm, let's bring you over here. And let's bring you here and attack them. Go on. Yeah, good attack there. What are you going to do? We'll continue next turn. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Right, Ashur, you have finished building the mine there. That's lovely. Our industrial production now is fairly substantial here. That's lovely. Uh, also, the Numidians are going to buy that resource. Fine. I think that's going to be okay. Anything else then? Well, the industrial quarter. We really do need to build up our industry further. Stability is not where I want it to be, though. Let's shift over a couple of people to science. Science is actually going to be our highest priority now. And we can build an obelisk here. Let's do place it some sensible place where it's not in the way. I suppose up here is going to be alright. Yeah, that should be fairly lovely. Okay, good, good, good. And turn. Open this battle here. And we're hopefully going to be able to finish them off. Yeah, nice. Another area star unlocked. That siege is actually going to flip that city over to us. Lovely. Because that does give us a new civic, a cultural heritage. Let's actually look at that. So, more influence on Lane Plaza and Admin Center or stability. This would move us close towards Homeland and this close towards world. I think we're going to pick this because Homeland actually going to is going to give us more combat strength. And this is a military run. 
So Depending that is mice. Good. Um, what do you guys want? You're attacking me again and again. I think we can't retreat here. So let's do the manual battle um, in case that we could do something. Send the deployment here. They're going to come over here and attack us. But hopefully we can at least retreat into these mountains. And indeed we can. Are they going to come after us or not? I'm hoping that they're just going to sit there, but they don't. I know they are attacking us. Ha! Huh, but it's it's a draw. It's a mutual suicide. Uh, or, well, mutual suicide is, is a bit of a redundant phrase, but you guys know what I mean. Good. Okay, we've got this area here now. Let's... Hatusha is ours, right? Yeah, we are occupying that. They're going to lose this war fairly quickly now. Let's actually move one of our guys in. You guys can get over there. Ooh, interesting. There is some sort of resource up there. You guys split off. Do go fetch that. You guys do an instant resolution here. Victory, I would have hoped so. And I'm not sure what you collected there, but you did collect something. Good. Let's end the turn here. Irrigation research, nice. Close to victory in the war, yeah, I would hope so. And I think we are actually at the war resolution here. Let's get you to give Hatusha. And I don't actually need more from you. Force of surrender. And there we go, that's our second city. Lovely, I like it. Uh, because that now should mean that, uh, let's put one of you guys off. Um, you should be able to build some claim territory here fairly easily. And indeed we are. So we are now with the Nubians on the same continent. They've attacked us a couple of times. I think we do have a good basis here to expand our cities though. Um, and especially with all of these bonus districts here, like the Saffron, which is going to give us more money and more food on farmers quarters. And since we have so many of that, that is going to be lovely. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you around next time. Bye bye guys.